and we're back with another tutorial so we've got an image sent in by Benny Bystorm so make sure you go give him a follow and when we come down we see some awesome work and you can see that the images have very bright whites some very faded shadows and blacks so there's not a great deal of contrast and as we come down we can see the image we are gonna work with today so we're gonna recreate this edit and as you can see a lot of fade in the blacks and shadows so if you like fade this is gonna be a good video for you and make sure you go give them a follow because it helps so much that these guys send in their photos it just makes teaching you guys so so much easier so let's jump into Lightroom and see what we can do okay so in Lightroom and I just want to point out again those really bright whites those whites are almost matching the background same with up there and those really faded shadows in black so that's going to be the main focus for this edit those really faded shadows in blacks so the first thing I'm going to do is crop the image 4x5 bring it down a tad and onto editing warm it up a little just a tad I almost always just add a tad of warmth now exposure dropping highlights and now bringing up the whites as you can see what that's doing and we've got to bring down our blacks so vibrance bringing down so vibrance affects the midtones more and saturation affects everything so the shadows the highlights the whole image now we are on to our curve so we're gonna try to get a fade and what I was confused about when I started was people talked about lifting the blacks to get a fade so what I did is I came up here and I lifted the blacks but I didn't get a fade the blacks up here brings out the detail on the blacks it lifts the blacks brightens the image so just something I was a little confused about when I started so to get a fade come down here and you lift the blacks in the curve And as we come up here to our whites and highlights, we want to keep these whites right up. As I, if I bring it down, we get those faded highlights. We don't want faded highlights. Bring them right up, and they become nice and bright. So coming down, just going to bring up the saturation of those reds a little, bring out these houses. maybe we'll see what the aqua does not too much trying to bring out that water and now I think we're looking pretty good we're a bit too dark so I'm gonna come back and play with my tone curve a little Alright, I'm just going to go with that amount of fade. So now, there's a few things you can notice. So we've got our contrast looking really good. I think our curve is pretty close to where it needs to be. But there's some things that are quite obvious, like these rocks that are very bright. These houses are really standing out. So what I think he's done, he's gotten a brush, has increased the exposure just a little bit for now. And we're going to brush over where we would like some extra exposure so along the front of these houses rooftop this rock here what I'm also going to do is really bring up the contrast so that's going to add a bit of light and a lot of sharpness and 
clarity. I mean, clarity if I see contrast before. So maybe just a few of these house 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 tops up here, and maybe this one here. And then just keep painting over areas you want to be enhanced until you're reasonably happy. Alright, so I think you guys get the point how to create a fade, how to keep those whites nice and bright, and yeah, how to brush a little. So yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Here's our before and after very faded if that's what you're into that's how you do it and make sure you go give them a follow i'll put links in the description give myself a follow leave a comment what you think what you guys want to see leave a like and i'll see you guys in the next one